Hey, I'm Soul Tony J, and today I'm going to be doing a reaction to the new Gamescom trailer of the Dark Pictures Anthology, The Devil in Me. This trailer just dropped, so I am super excited to see what happens, and we finally get a release date. <laughs> so let's get cozy and watch the trailer. I am so excited. We're going to get a sneak preview of more features and the characters and the story. Ooh, I'm so excited. Ooh. All right. Let's watch it. Peggy 18. I'm so excited. <laughs> Where the hell are we? Let me get the fuck out of here. What the hell is that? We're trapped. What do we do? Is this a good idea? I don't see any other options. This has been weird every step of the way, and now it's getting scary. This is beyond messed up. Run! Jamie, over here. Inventory? Check this out. It's a puzzle. A riddle of some sort. Tricks and traps. Oh playing games. That's not what I was expecting. What was that? I can't handle much more of this. There's a lot of miles between eccentric and murderous. You okay? Not even close. Hey! He wants to choose, doesn't he? Oh my god. If we don't do something, both of them will die. We have to choose. No! Get the fuck out any way you can. I don't want to die. November 18th. Ooh, yes. Ah, we finally got a date. <laughs> Ooh, look at the collector's edition. Oh, I would love that. I'm not sure where I would put that animatronic head, but that would be an interesting conversation piece. Like someone comes in and they're just like, what is that? <laughs> like, it's a masterpiece. <laughs> okay, so here's a volume two where it includes House of Ashes and The Devil in Me. And it has like a card game. Oh, a House of Ashes card game and two collectible pins and a map. So I think one of my predictions is right that um, a lot of it is inspired by the Saw series, which is my favorite horror film series. Like I love Saw. So it looks like they're gonna have people trapped and you're gonna have to make a decision whether to kill one or save one. I wonder if you can save both of the people that they were talking about. But that one ax coming through the door reminds me of another movie. What was that? Was that The Shining? Let me know in the comments if you know what movie that's from. So like the other Dark Pictures games, there are some elements that are based on true events. This hotel is based off of a true story and Supermassive Games just released another video talking about the history behind the hotel. So if you want to see me react to that, let me know in the comments. Prediction time! So I think that as we play this game, the characters are going to come across multiple of these record players that might have clues or messages. I know in the past trailer, they had uh, a voice on a cassette tape, so they might mix it up between the cassette tapes or this record player, but I'm really thinking that this, this record player is gonna be very, very important. So let me just go back a little bit and see the words that they threw in there because it kind of went really fast. Extended exploration mechanics. So in this trailer, they're showing that we can climb things, we can jump over things. It's gonna be way more than just us walking around really, really slow or those two main like walking paces that that's in these games. Because in this game, we finally get to run. We finally get to run around. <laughs> What I'm also super excited about is the character inventory. I feel like character inventory is going to bring so much more to this game because we are going to have more things to interact with and that can change the outcome of different decisions that we make. It can open up new avenues, new paths. It's going to be so much fun. Some of the items might help us, some of them might hurt us. I am super excited. 
And we get a little sneak preview right here with this character walking around in this creepy room with creepy mannequins. Ugh. And it looks like he has a camera and I think a flash. And those are two different parts. So I wonder if it's going to make a difference if he has to take a picture of something and if he's going to need the flash. Is the flash going to scare somebody off? Will it hinder him if he doesn't have the flash? That's going to be really awesome. Like in this scene, you can see on the right side of this room, you can see a flash go on the mannequin and it goes dark again. So he might use the flash as a flashlight. And then you see this next character has an inhaler. I wonder if that's going to be optional too. It's gonna suck if she doesn't have her inhaler. Will she be able to use her inhaler as a weapon? Who knows? New gameplay challenges. This is probably gonna mess me up. <laughs> Some puzzles are super, super hard to me. I'm not really used to playing games with a lot of puzzles. I think I need to train with some puzzle games but in this trailer they show us a couple of puzzles so it's not just one it's a few i think the shortest one was man of medan and the longest one so far is house of ashes so for this to be longer i am super excited to see all what they put in there they put so much in here i am oh online shared story so i'm guessing that's where we will be able to play online like the other ones so the quarry is the most recent game that supermassive games have released and their online style of gameplay was way different than the dark pictures so i'm wondering if in the devil in me the online gameplay is going to be like the previous ones where both uh players have the game and they'll be able to control their characters while the other person watches or will it be like the quarry where people vote on different decisions i really enjoy both people being able to explore look around make decisions on their own find different secrets and maybe we can tell each other on voice chat different things like that so i'm hoping that the online gameplay stays the same so if you made it this far in the video put this emoji in the comments and let me know if you're excited for this game if you're ready to play it do you have any predictions about what you think is going to happen and how excited you are, cause I am super excited. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching another cozy reaction to a horror game trailer. And I will see you in the next one.